Hi everyone, happy Halloween. This reading is for the sign of Sagittarius. So if you have any Sagittarius placements in your chart, this reading is for you. This reading is from ending of October through November, okay, whenever I do the next reading. If you have Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, wherever that placement may be, again, this reading is for you. It's an intuitive reading. It may not be um, a reading for everyone. It's going to be very general reading. Um, if you're a cross watcher, maybe there happens to be a message here for you. I'm going to start very quickly. Sagittarius, your overall energy for month of October through November is Seven of Cups. And this energy is an energy of having a lot of choices and not knowing which one to choose. You have lots of choices, Sagittarius. There's a lot of cups in front of you. And these are emotional cups. So it could be due to, it could be making choice in relationships, making a choice to choose a person, or making a choice to stay stuck in so many choices. Okay, so this is your... Overall energy is the seven of cups. You're very guarded. You got the nine of wands. You're very guarded with this. You're very guarded. You're not You're very guarded in the sense of what choice you're gonna make. You're very guarded not letting your guard down in regards to your choices. You want to be able to experiment with each choice and see where it leads you. Okay. This is the overall energy I'm getting. But it's going to be a heavy burden for you to do. It's going to be very burdensome for you to make a choice. Um, you know, it's going to be burden burdensome for you to make a choice. And it's going to be burdensome for you to be in that situation where you have too many choices, uh, too many things, and you can't just, you can't focus. So you can't make a choice. And it's going to be very burdensome because it's going to be a lot of work you need to put into this, okay? Ace of Wands is that fiery energy. There is a fiery energy here. There's passion igniting within you in regards to your choices and in regards to the choice you know the choices that you need to make or the choice you want to make so you're going to find you're going to look for that passion you're going to search that passion out for whatever choice you have to make is either it's in regards to a relationship it could be due to a job maybe you want to find a job that's passionate um you want to find something that's going to make you feel passionate okay same, same thing with the choice in relationship you want someone who's going to make you feel passionate make you feel whole full have fun you know outgoing passion that fiery passion and that's what you want okay you got the knight of swords coming in this is information sometimes it's information that's cutthroat sometimes it's information that helps you to decide what it is that you want and don't want okay so sometimes that means that some of these choices need to go okay and you need to decide and which one you want to take okay so there's an offer being made here it could be you or another person to me this is an offer of love okay when you get a page of cups this is a, an offer of love and it could be you making an offer to someone because you had so many choices you finally decide to make an offer but in that cup there's a fish so almost like even though you're making this offer to this individual you're still thinking about other things that may be around you or persons in regards to making that choice okay so they because of all these cups you had and now you you're feeling burdensome to have to deal with so many things or so many persons or whatever it is in your choices right now you make a choice with the knight of swords to cut certain things out and to focus on one so you offer a love to someone you're offering your love to one of these choices okay you get the emperor. Whoever you're offering your love to is a very direct person, very stable person. This per person is stable. This person is stable financially, mentally, physically. This person is very responsible, okay? Whoever that is. It could be you. It could be the other person. Vice versa, you got to change the story around. Maybe the other person has a lot of choices that you're unaware of, and they eventually make a choice to come to you, okay? So that, that too can play out in this. Or it could be that the other person or the company has many people to choose from if you look at it this way. Let's say if you're going for a job, the company may have a lot of people to choose from, but they choose you or you choose them, vice versa. You know, you got to take the energy for what it's at and what the cards are trying to read. Most of the time, they're very direct. This time, for some reason, on all the signs, or for the most part, the ones that I've been getting now, 
has been very general. So it's not pinpointing anywhere. It's just going general reading, okay? Um, temperance is telling you to let this unfold. Let the situation or the person you've made a choice, let this unfold. You know, don't rush it. Let it take its flight. And you and this other person or whatever it is that you make a choice with will work itself out, will balance itself out. Okay, whether it's a company, yes, it's going to be difficult at first because it's a very stern company or whatever it is, but it's going to work itself out, okay? Everything will work itself out, uh, as well as if you're making a choice between individuals in a relationship, okay? Now, for your fairy cards, you got seven. Be careful, you know, of miscommunication, of misunderstandings, or be careful of... I would say this is the devil advocates card. It's almost like you're trying to snake to through things or be manipulated to the to things. You see, she's this fairy's trying to like mesmerize this snake, right? Or the snake is trying to mesmerize the fairy. You can see it either way. And this is just like mesmerizing and not really what no, you know, trying to manipulate things so just be careful with manipulating things and not being honest and open to everyone involved okay then we get this is a, you know be more a child's play communicate more happily uh with others um maybe it could be someone older who you feel uncomfortable with or you feel that this person may be a little stern or whatever it is um but it's really just bringing in you know child's play into it and, and seeing things from a a happier standpoint not being upset so 13 in the fairy cards it's almost like i'm going to read it all for you because some of these cards i don't remember all of their meaning so it says <laughs> innocence immaturity so there's some immaturity or innocence here okay um whether it be you or the other person just don't be immature don't be manipulative that's what i was getting at you know act you know, be responsible for whatever it is you're doing or whatever choice you make. And back here again, we get some more um, number 12, which is, you see there's two people here watching each other. One is going one way, but the other one is watching them. So it says here, gossip, chatter, social media. It could be you watching that other person's social media or they're watching yours or um, people are watching the choices you make and how you decide to do things and um, how you're behaving around them. The same thing with companies. They're probably watching you and seeing how you work, what you do, and just realize that you, you're, you're being watched and you want to put your best foot forward in whatever choice you make in the, in the circumstances, even though you have a lot of cops in front of you and it, it can be kind of confusing. It's almost like he's confused. He's not sure. He's, his hand is right in the middle. He's not sure which cup to choose. Um, you're going to have to make a choice, though. All right? All right, for your messages for the month of October through, this is so hot, this, I'm going to have to like pull this off pretty soon. October through um, November is connection, connecting to universe, connecting to God, connecting to others, uh, or, you know, connecting to many. You see there's a whole bunch of lights here and all swirled together. You have many connections, many things are, or many people you're connecting to. Um, it could be that too. So just, you know, a connection. It could be a connection to God, it could be a connection to others, and just connecting to the universe to make a choice. Also connecting to others to see what which route you want to take. And connecting to your own self, your own emotional stability, and your own mental faculties, and thinking through the choices you're going to make so that you come up with the right choice, okay? And then we have protection. Protection, um... You have protection around you at all times. God is protecting you in whatever choice you make. Uh, you're protecting protecting yourself also, making sure you're not vulnerable, okay? And, and knowing that the, the angels and gods are surrounding you. And whatever choice you make, you're going to be protected with, okay? And then it says to center. Center yourself. Center yourself and see which way you want to go. Always centering and finding, you know, your intuition. And centering yourself and looking at things balanced from a clear point okay whatever choices you make you want to make sure you're balancing up to make that choice make sure making sure you know exactly what you want and need that's um centering yourself okay and then to have new vision new vision could be 
after you make this choice, there's a new road ahead of you. Uh, you'll see things differently. And maybe when you're centering yourself and you connect to yourself and you start connecting to God and connecting to others, you're going to know exactly what you need and want in your life, whether it be for a job or a relationship, okay? Or for any aspect that you're going through right now. Connecting to others, connecting to God, connecting to angels, connecting to yourself, connecting to your own intuition, and protecting yourself, also praying and getting guidance and asking for guidance as a way of protection and centering yourself, grounding yourself so that you have a new vision and you know exactly which way you're going to go or what choices to make, okay? So that is your reading, Sagittarius, for the month of October through November. I hope it resonated with you. Thanks for listening. Have a blessed Halloween. Thank you. Bye-bye.